Honorable President, I would like to take your memory back uh, 32 years ago, sir, when an impassioned doctor from the United States came, uh, Indian doctor returned and tried to start one of India's first corporate hospitals. And in that, he, you know, he came back and he was trying to put Apollo hospitals and he sent a letter, an impassioned letter to the, to the, uh, to, uh, the Prime Minister saying that I have no way to finance this hospital. If I had put up a BD factory or a liquor factory, there would have been a way. But there's no way because we're not recognized as an industry. And if you remember, you were the uh, Union Minister of Finance at that time and you helped him. Well, he's back. He's back. Uh, he's back 32 years later with a larger force behind him, a bigger collective. So the ask is going to be greater with that. And, and you are the first citizen of our country. So it gives us great pleasure this evening to, uh, to share with you the deliberations of this August body. At the outset, I would like to congratulate all the members of the Healthcare Alliance and Dr. Reddy in particular for putting together high level leaders and some of the best minds in the field of healthcare to deliberate on various aspects of healthcare delivery and the ways and means of further strengthening health system. I believe that with careful and measured step and forging partnership, the urban rural paradox can be reversed and issues of inequity addressed. And I would also like to assure Honorable uh, President of India that insofar as my ministry is concerned, after I go back from here, I will try to discuss maybe today or tomorrow all the recommendations which you have handed over to Honorable President because Honorable President is the one who takes keen interest in health related issues under his guidance, I am sure that <coughs> we'll be able to achieve more milestones in future. With these words, I thank you. It's indeed a happy occasion for me to be present amidst you this evening to receive the recommendations of India's first of its kind Global Healthcare Conference the future of healthcare, a collective vision which was held yesterday and today in New Delhi. The conference has provided a useful platform to harness experience and expertise in the field of healthcare from countries around the world. I am pleased to re receive the four white papers developed by the members of the Healthcare Alliance. These are outcome of the contributions and perspectives garnered from the global experts in the field. I hope that the recommendations for the government, healthcare providers, industry, and the community at large would serve to be of valuable inputs in charting the future course of healthcare in the coming years. <laughs> to transform the ideas emerging out of the healthcare conference into a reality, all stakeholders need to make collective efforts in that direction of achieving good health for all. I urge all present here to make it their mission to infuse in all a passion for healthy living. My best wishes to the Health Care Alliance for its mission of providing equitable health care to the people. Let us all strive collectively for a better and healthier tomorrow. Thank you.